We're here at Masterson Station Park for the start of the boys 4K Middle School State Championship. See all the teams lined up. Take you to the race action. Here comes the lead cart. Some of the runners to look for. Last year, this event was won by Keaton Thornsberry and Grady Shiflett. They're ninth graders now. But the fastest returning seventh grader to look for in today's race, who's an eighth grader now, he, uh, Jonah Mitchell, he was third last year. <clears throat> Next seventh grader from last year's race was eighth place Wes Grogan. And then 14th place from Russell was Jared Goodman. So those are the top performing 7th graders from last year that are competing today. But then also need to look out for Connor Hayes and Tomas Duncan, who won the 6th grade and under. They've moved up to this race, and they're running today as well. So those are some of the folks that could figure into this race. Last year in the team score, Beaumont middle one. They got a nice banner hanging up on their tent commemorating that victory, and Beaumont is running again today. Holy Trinity out of Louisville was a second place team last year in North Oldham. If you look back to 2013, Luke Hoover was the individual champ, and North Oldham ran away with the team score with Crosby second and College View third. See all the runners coming through. Don't have an exact count, but <clears throat> seems like it's always right around 400 or so. Just a huge number of runners. Hardest part is race strategy. If you go out too fast, you're exhausted in the race, but if you go out your regular pace, you, you really get boxed in. And you can see some of the athletes just kind of jogging along and not a whole lot of places to go. Just really a huge competition. 2012, Michael Sheets was the middle school champion. North Oldham won again that year. Meade County was second. College View third. Great day for running today. Clouds are a little overcast, but we haven't had any rain just yet. Hopefully it'll hold off. They're projecting rain for the afternoon. Had a lot of race days this, uh, this season on Saturdays where it's looked like rain or might have been just a little bit of rain. But we haven't had any really gushing rainstorms. Over 50 teams competing from all over Kentucky. Looks like Tomas Duncan has opened up a pretty large lead on the competition, so <clears throat> looks like the seventh grader has really kind of surpassed some of the older, year older talent. They're close to the finish line here. All they just got to do is loop around and go to where the old stadium was. A lot of these individual runners, they should figure into the conversation on the high school level in about three or four years. If you look back at the 2011 edition of this race, we could go through a list of names, and those list of names are some of the names that we're seeing uh, their senior year doing well. In 2011, Trenton Fryman won this event. This year, Trenton has won Rumble Through the Jungle and uh, I believe was third at Lexcath. Hayden Spencer, we've seen a lot out of Hayden at Lexcath and also Greater Louisville Classic had a, some standout performances there. He was second in 2011. Now he's a senior. Cole Dowdy, We've seen Cole run this season, covered some of the events that he's competed in. 
Jordan Rose was fourth, and then Josh Hannon, St. Henry Invitational. I believe uh, Josh, if I'm remembering correctly, won that event. We provided coverage of that event. So those were the top five as eighth graders in 2011. And then now they're seniors and they're just uh, excelling on the high school level. Next week will be regional competition. The week after that will be state. We should see some of these same names. So the runners that you're looking at here, some of the top performers could be the top performers just four years from now on the high school level. We're at Masterson Station Park at the KTCCCA Middle School State Championship, 8th grade and under. It's a meet of champions. After this, we'll be taking you to the uh, finish line. And then we'll have a race recap of the winners today as well as the top performing teams. Complete results can be obtained at kytrackxc.com. Come up to this event each year. It's just amazing. The tent city is just crammed in there like sardines reminds you a little bit of maybe court day over in Mount Sterling where there's just vendors all over the place except here it's not vendors you have tents and teams and some teams have grills and are cooking out and really just having a great time you see all kinds of families coming here to support their kids as they're running course you got to arrive early it's uh, traffic is incredible getting in and traffic is incredible leaving I believe last year it took a, took us over an hour to get out of the park you're watching the KTCCCA middle school state championship big shout out to all the officials that make this possible just a huge event really benefits the sport all the hundreds of kids and family members that are out here today Taking you now to the finish line. It's the finish line of the middle school boys state championship. See everybody coming in. Conclusion of this will be taking you to a race recap. where we see who the top winners are, as well as the top teams. Talked a little bit about the individual athletes from 2011. If you look at the team score, North Oldham was the top performing team, College View second, and Ryle was third. North Oldham has really done well. They've won this event in 2011, 12, and 13. As I mentioned earlier, in 2014, Beaumont won this.
or at Masterson Station Park at the 2015 KT CCA Middle School State Championship. recap today's winner Tomas Duncan state champion and in second place runner-up Wes Grogan in third place Jonah Mitchell congratulations to these three young men and the team score North Oldham back on top Crosby second James Madison third Connor four South Oldham fifth Holy Trinity six College View seventh Murmur 8th, Edith J. Hayes 9th, Russell 10th, Oldham County 11th, Woodford County 12th, South Laurel 13th. You can see the balance of it and complete results are available on kytrackxc.com. This is a Strider's Eye production.